this green color. I'll pull out my yarn. Again, but don't forget to just wipe out any residue from your this forceps. Here is my very long type of fabric. Let me see what happens to this when brought in front of the flame. You see, it's trying to curl up but not burning. Just trying to curl up. Just curling. You see, not burnt, curl, the long thread curl. Let me show you once again. It's a thread brought near the flame. It doesn't burn. It just curls up. You can see curling. These two curling. When it curls, we still can't conclude for anything. So let us see how does it burn. It burns very slowly. Very slowly. Eh? Very slowly. And very sticky at the same time. You can see the flame, the black flame coming because it got stuck to that area. And it be becomes very, and it burns with very difficulty. Lots of difficulty. See, not so easily it burns. And let me show you one more sample again. Burns with lots of difficulties. Not completely. See? I need to bring it every time in front. It burns with difficulty. And the smell. Smell is just like a burning hair. Smell is just like a burning hair. The way how a hair burns like that. And the final residue. When I try to see it, you see how it jumped over here. And look at the sound. It is like very hard bead type. This type of hard beat time, difficult to crush it, is called as silk. The residue is silk. So we can conclude that the green fabric is a silk fabric. Let me try with my black color now. Cut my sample, take my piece of thread. Easily this is movable. So I will use about one for first for my first test. Don't forget to wipe it. Now you can see what happens with this. It all it is also curling away. Also curling away. You can see here curled away, not burnt. Curled away. One more time. Let's take two pieces this time and see, see, curling away, curling away. Now, curling away is happening with the silk also. So can we say this is silk? No, we can't conclude it now. So let's see what we can do while burning it in the flame. When it burns in a flame, it burns very slowly with a flickering type. Can you see this flickering effect? This is called the flickering effect. It burns with a flickering flame. Sizzles and curls. Sizzles and curls. You can see here. It will sizzle and curl. Now. When removed from the fire. As you can see when it was removed from the fire. It stops burning. When removed from the fire. It stops burning. Then, this is the smell that comes just like a burning hair and a more strong odor, stronger than silk. A odor which is much more stronger than the silk, giving a flickering burn, curling away and the final residue is a crisp, dark, you can see it's crispy, you can see how crispy it is, that it can turn into powder, this crispy, while in the silk there was no crisp. That is called as wool. So our black fabric was wool. 
Now the final fabric I will try to use and see what is it. First let me cut it out for the burning area. Pull out my yarn using the help of a needle. I'm using one yarn at the beginning. Again, don't forget to wipe your forceps off. Let's see what happens to it when brought further. As it approaches the flame, it curls away and shrinks. Shrinks from the flame. Fuses and shrinks. That's it. Fuses and shrinks. Again, let me show you. This time I'll take two yarns together for the same sample. It fuses, curls and all. Now since it curls, I cannot say that it is silk and wool in the beginning. So I need to approach it to the, bring it in the flame. So let me take the sample, bring it in the flame and see what happens. It's burning so slowly and flickering and it, you saw the thing how it fell. It is actually melting. Let me show you another thing away. Take the sample, push it in the fire burning slowly and when it gets the fire it is melting you can see flickering and then melting and see how sticky it is just like a mozzarella cheese fine this is in the flame when when brought out of the flame it burns with two difficulty as you saw when burns burn when brought out of the flame it burns with difficulty not so easily burning. Now, what about its odor? Let's burn it to see the odor. The odor is just like a chemicalized smell, just like how you smell it near the petrol factory on C, flickering and melting. See here? Yeah. Just like a chemical factory, the burn is the, the smelling comes, just like a chemical. And then when it is left to cool. It has turned, I haven't got the sample, I have lost it. So what I'll do is, I'll clean my forceps. Take a new sample again and see its residue, how does it look like. This is its residue. The residue is hard, bead like. The residue is hard and bead like. So, this actually tells you it is actually a polyester because it is, you can see, hard. Now it is soft, just like a plastic because polyesters are made up of plastics different types of polythenes used in that and so it is just like a bead. These are the different samples that I tried to do here. Here are two more samples which I don't know about so let me try using this test and then I will give it as a test to my students so that they can do the practical themselves. So, let's come back to the related question part and discuss the different types of questions. So, dear students, before we discuss with the related questions, you can see you have been given with this table here. The number of strips you can mention here from 1 to 10 and then uh, write about its 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 forms. The first one is to form is when it goes near the flame, what happens? What in ha when it is in the burning flame, what happens to it? What is its odor? What, how, what is its final residue and what did you identify it to be as? What type of fabric it is? One more column is missing that is when removed from the flame how does it look like? So that two things can be mentioned in the same place that is type of flame before and after. So what you can do is draw a line in the middle and write before and after in the flame out of the flame. Now let us come back to the related question area. So dear students, the questions that have been asked to you are, number one, what if the residue of a burnt fiber is like a hard bead, which fiber it would be? It could be either 
a silk or a nylon. Nylon and rayon are not that easily available in my country, so I couldn't do the experiment for that. But the word silk we had done it on and it gave us a hard bead like structure. That is the residue. Question number two, when you hold the fiber in the flame and it burns out quickly with the yellow flame, which fiber could it be? It burns out quickly. They didn't say slowly. So when I say quickly, the only word that comes is cotton because linen also burns but not quickly but also gives a yellow flame. So that is the two comparisons you need to do and give the answer as cotton. Question number three, a fiber on burning smells like a burnt milk. Which fiber would it be? An animal or a vegetable fiber? As you know, the fiber on burning gave us the milky smell or the burnt milk smell was in the wool. So our fabric is wool and wool is obviously an animal fiber. So we would give the answer as wool and animal fiber. These are the three possible questions that you will be asked during your examinations. You might also be asked to do the complete test or some fabrics will be given to you and you need to do the test. Same way the practical how I showed you. If you have got any questions related to this practical, please make sure that you ask me during the comment box. Thanks for watching the video.